The love of the Creator to His children is an unconditional love. A love that is not dependent in no actions. If you woke up at 5 or you woke up at 10 or you just woke up and it's 9.30 or 9.45 p.m., there's no problem. Hashem, He loves you. Hashem, He is with you, first of all. Now you can build. Now if you understand that Father in Heaven, He loves you, He cares about you, that love that you feel from Him will give you the strength, the push, the power to make another step toward Him as well from your place. But if you will feel that you're always being judged and that you're always being criticized and always being measured and always, always being checked, you will refuse to progress to that direction. You're going to feel rejected. You're going to say, no, 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 I'm sorry. That's not for me. And it can take you one year, and it can take you ten years to wake up and to say, it's not for me. But in the end, you're going to wake up and you're going to refuse to being threatened and to be pushed. Because you cannot force spirituality. Spirituality is something that must come from inside. When you want to educate your child, when you want to give your child tools for the future, if you will try to force him, you will break him. And as much as you're going to force, that's how much you're going to break. And you can kill him with the best intentions in the world. You can kill him. You can literally push him to commit suicide and kill himself because that you wanted him to be the next Rabbi Vadya Yosef, Rabbi Nachman of Wesley. Rav Shik, Great. You wanted him to be as righteous as Rabbi El Yashiv, so you slaughtered him. Great. You think that that was the intention of Hashem? You think that that was the will of Hashem? Chanoch l'nar al pidarko. You must educate that child according to his way, and he's got a way, and his way is to be lazy. And his way is to be upset and to be angry. And you need to wake him up to see that God is with him even when he's angry. Because if you're going to teach him that when he's angry, Hashem is not with him, and he's angry, because that's his way to express his emotions, to be angry. Now you told him, Hashem is not with you. So who rejected him? You! Stupid parent. Why? Because you don't understand how much Hashem Barach is with him even when he's angry. And you misinterpret the real intention of Hashem by telling you, I love you. I love you in unconditional love. Love that is not dependent on anything. An endless love. Love of a father to his child. Not a terrified father, a stressful father that doesn't know what to do and he's all crazy. My child, he's not waking up in the morning. He didn't say Kiyach in the time. He didn't put Filin Rabbeinu Tam. He's not doing this, he's not doing that. I'm doing Tshuva now in front of you. I'm not embarrassed. I did thousands and thousands of mistakes with my five angels. I made horrible mistakes with my children. But except of telling them, hey guys, I love you. I'm sorry, I was wrong. I was under a lot of pressure. Let's try again. Let's restart. Let's do tshuva together. There's no other solution. If I'm going to continue pushing them, I'm going to lose them. What's the wisdom behind that? It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.